For today's notes, you will need in class 52, this is part three of standard 12. So this is our final section of notes where we will put together what we've learned about our 45, 45, 90 special right triangles and our 30, 60, 90 special right triangles. The goal for all of these problems is going to be to continue to leave your answer in exact simplified form. Another way of saying that is what's written in the instructions here, simplest radical form, since these involve square roots. All right, so as we begin these problems, what you'll notice is you'll usually have two triangles that are somehow sharing a side in common. That side that they're sharing in common is going to serve as a link from one triangle to the other. So depending on where the given numerical information starts out, we're going to use that information to move to that shared side, and then that shared side will help us move to the goal in the other triangle. So that means for this problem, I'm starting my focus with this 30, 60, 90 triangle on the top. This angle is 30, which means that the 6 is my shortest side. If you think back, we called that L. The side across from 60 would be the L root 3 side, and then that side across from 90 is the 2L side. Since I know what L is equal to, I can plug that in technically everywhere, although I don't need to know this top side. We could fill it in for practice. That would just be 6 root 3. But what really matters to me is that this shared side is 2 times 6, 2 times my L, so that turns out to be 12. Now that I have that value figured out, I'm going to switch to a different color because now my focus is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. In this triangle, the two legs are both L and the hypotenuse is equal to L root 2. So I have a new value for L in the 45, 45, 90. It doesn't match the L from my original. The hypotenuse in the original triangle is actually the leg in the new triangle. So now L is equal to 12, and wherever I see an L, I can plug in 12, which tells me X is 12 root 2. We're going to repeat that strategy over and over and over today. So let's take a look at number 2 and see where we're going to start. I have in number 2 a numerical value over here which is in the 30, 60, 90 triangle. This time that numerical value is across from 30, so it is the shortest side, which means it is equal to L. My shared side in this picture is right here. That's across from the 60. So that side is going to be labeled with L root 3. And then if I needed this one down here, that would be the 2L, but I don't, so I'm just going to leave that off. Taking a look at what I have, I know that L is 6 root 3, so I can plug that in right here. I'm just going to show that off to the side. 6 root 3 times an extra root 3 is going to be 6 root 9, or 6 times 3, which is 18. So that side is 18. Now we shift our focus to the other triangle. The other triangle is a 45, 45, 90, where this 18 is a leg. This side right here is also a leg. And this X is going to be across from the 90. That wasn't marked, but if this is a straight line, remember we can use our linear pair theorem to subtract those 90 degree angles to get another 90 degree angle. So that side X is our hypotenuse, our L root 2 side. Since L is now equal to 18 in this triangle, that means that that piece would be 18, and this L right here can also be replaced with an 18 to give us an X value of 18 root 2. So similar to the last one, the picture just looked a little bit different. Let's take a look at example 3. This time the numerical value that I'm starting with is actually in the 45, 45, 90 triangle. So let's take our time to remember that in a 45, 45, 90, the two uh, sides connected to the right angle are the legs. They're both L. 
Across from that 90 degree angle is the hypotenuse. That's L root 2. And so I can't tell at first glance what L is equal to in this equation. I'm going to have to solve for that. So remember, we have two methods for solving. Either we can take this little equation and we can divide both sides by root 2, which is impossible on the right and requires us to rationalize that denominator to get to an 8 root 2 over 2 that then can be simplified to give us our L. Or, if you don't understand that rationalizing the denominator strategy, remember when division by the root doesn't work out so well, we can choose to multiply by it instead, which changes our equation into 2L is equal to 8 root 2. And then we can find our L by dividing by a regular number. So L again turns out to be 4 root 2. So it doesn't matter which method you use, the goal is to figure out L. So that means this side is 4 root 2, and this shared side that I care about is 4 root 2. I'm going to turn this sideways so I can squeeze that in there. All right, now that we've made it to the shared side, we're going to shift our focus to the other triangle. This triangle is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So in that triangle, across from the 30 is the L. Across from the 60, I'm going to go sideways again, is L root 3. Now that's going to be like one of our tricky examples from our previous notes. So I'm going to pull that out to the side and we're going to work on that little equation so that we can find our L and then be done. So that equation is going to look like 4 root 2 equals L root 3. That's going to be another case where division doesn't work out so well. So if you'd like to divide and rationalize by the denominator, that's fine. Um, the other option is that you use your multiplication by an extra root 3. That requires a little extra simplifying. So I'm going to show that route just because I want to make sure it makes sense if you choose to do it that way. If we multiply both sides by root 3, we're going to end up with 4 root 6 equals 3L. Dividing both sides by 3 then can't really be simplified. That root 6, if we check in on it, can't be split up into anything that has a matching factor. If you're a factor tree person or if you're a factor table person, 1 times 2, 2 times 3, no perfect squares in sight. So that just means that we're done. 4 root 6 over 3 is the best we can do for L. Now a quick check of the goal to find X. X is equal to L. So that means 4 root 6 over 3 is actually our answer to this problem for X. All right, let's switch to page 2, do a few more examples, starting with example 4 here. We are starting in this case with a numerical value over in this 45, 45, 90 triangle. That's one of the legs, so it's going to be equal to L. The other leg is also equal to L. The hypotenuse, which is the shared side that I'm trying to get to, is going to be equal to L root 2. So if we take what we know about L and we plug it in right there, that's going to tell us that this shared side is 5 root 2. Shift your focus to the second triangle. In that second triangle, we are in 30, 60, 90 mode. So across from the 30 is our shortest leg. That's the L. Across from the 60 is now L root 3. So I'm going to need to take that L root 3 and set it equal to the 5 root 2 on that side. This is going to be really similar to the last problem, but I'm going to do this one with division since I did the last one with multiplication, just so that whatever method you choose, you'll have an example on the page. To solve for L, I would divide by root 3, which would take care of it on the left, but I can't simplify that root and I can't leave it in the denominator, so I need to multiply by root 3 in both the numerator and the denominator. That's going to give me a 5 root 6 for the numerator. Root 3 times root 3 is 3 for the denominator. 
Again, root 6 can't simplify, and 5 divided by 3 can't simplify. So that tells me that L is equal to 5 root 6 over 3. Now, unfortunately, this time, L is not the goal. L was this shortest side over here, and that's not where my X is at. So in a 30, 60, 90, our last side, the hypotenuse, is actually equal to 2L. So I'm going to need to take what I've already done here and plug it in for L, which means I need to multiply this by 2. X is going to be 2 times 5 root 6 over 3. That 2 is really like 2 over 1. So 2 times 5 is what needs to happen on the top, and then nothing changes in the denominator. We still can't simplify root 6, and we still can't do 10 divided by 3. So that is an exact simplified form answer for the side marked with an x, 10 root 6 over 3. All right, two examples to go. Looks like for this one, we're starting with this 8 root 6 side in our 30, 60, 90 triangle here at the bottom. So the side across from 30 is going to be the L. The one across from 60 is the L root 3. The one across from 90 is the 2L, which means I need to find L by dividing this by 2. 4 root 6 is equal to L. So now everywhere I see an L, I can put a 4 root 6. The place that really matters, though, is the shared side, remember. So I'm going to imagine that that L is equal to 4 root 6. It's a little tricky to squeeze it in, so I'm going to pop it right there on the top side of that shared side. And now I'm going to shift my focus over to the other triangle. This is a 45, 45, 90. So both of the legs connected to the right angle are L's. And the one across from the right angle, which is what I have, is equal to L root 2. Off to the side, I'm going to use that to figure out what my L is equal to. This time, it's perfectly possible to divide both sides by root 2 because there's a root 6 sitting there ready and waiting. So that means in my 45, 45, 90, anywhere I see L, I can use 4 root 3. And that's perfect. That means that 4 root 3 is equal to x. All right, last one, and then we'll be done with our notes for standard 12. This one, our numerical value is living in the 45, 45, 90 triangle to start with. That is one of the two legs connected to the right angle, so that is equal to L. Across from the 90 is where my shared side is located. That is supposed to be L root 2. So I'm going to take what I know about L and I'm going to plug it in. That means that that shared side is going to be 7 root 2. Switching my focus in the other triangle now, we've got a 30, 60, 90. So that means when we start labeling up our sides, the shortest side across from 90 is the L. The side across from 60 is the L, oops, L, not 6, L root 3, which means that's going to be equal to 7 root 2. I'm going to pull that out to the side so that I can work on it. <clears throat> and this is where you're going to have to make the call about whether you divide by root 3 and rationalize, or one more time I'll go through the process of doing it with multiplication by root 3 if that's your preferred method. Root 3 times root 3 will make this a 3L equals 7 root 6. Root 2 times root 3. Divide both sides by 3. 7 can't be divided by 3 evenly, and root 6 is already simplified. So our L is going to be 7 root 6 over 3. Now that would be great if our goal was to solve for this side over here, but it's not. Our goal is to solve for what's across from the 90, which in a 30, 60, 90 is 2L. So to finish this out, X is going to be 2 times L. We plug in that 7 root 6 over 3. Remember, we can write that over 1 if we need to. 
multiply straight across to make 14 root 6, the new or numerator, excuse me, and 1 times 3, the new denominator. 14 still can't be divided by 3 evenly, and root 6 still can't be simplified. So that's our answer. X is equal to 14 root 6 over 3. All right. Those are the level four questions for standard 12. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back in class.